friends, hello, it's Thor Dykow here. I was off last week at the happiest place on earth, AKA Disneyland. So I need to bring you up to speed on what we missed last week. And without further ado, let's get right into it. I love this time of year because it means a lot of the best picture nominees are coming out on the small screen. And that is what we're talking about first. The Big Short nominated for five Oscars. And this is from director Adam McKay, the guy who is mainly known for things like Funny or Die or Anchorman. But this time he comes out with a witty, smart, sharp and funny, a acerbic look at the Wall Street collapse and this basically details uh, a group of men who Michael, saw this financial collapse coming from a mile away. Now this was an amazing movie because it blended so much great comedy, satire and drama. It uh, was nominated for Best Picture, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor for Christian Bale, Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Editing, it was also named one of the top 10 films of the year by the Wall Street Journal, New York Times and many other reputable outlets. It's based on the best-selling book by Michael Lewis. He was the uh, author of Moneyball as well and it details the true story of four outsiders who risked everything to take on the big banks during their greatest financial fraud in U.S. history. Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, Brad Pitt in uh, some pretty uh, amazing performances as well. And the Blu-ray is uh, jam-packed with over a, an hour of bonus content. You can go behind the scenes with the actors and uh, they talk about their characters and the real people behind this unbelievable story. Five deleted scenes that were not shown in theaters and uh, director Adam McKay revealing the challenges he faced in bringing the book to the big screen. Now it does at times get very self-referential and meta and I think that worked for some others it didn't. It's very uh, full of jargon so a lot of it may fly over your head but it was always done in a very entertaining way and uh, many uh, doubted that um, you know this kind of story could be brought to audiences in such a funny and frank way but Adam McKay did it and uh, the movie is being uh, hailed as one of the best of 2015. Get it now on Blu-ray. It is definitely worth a couple of watches. The Big Short. Own it now. All right Katniss is back for our next film. Yes it all comes to a dramatic and thrilling conclusion in The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2. I wasn't sure about them splitting the last book into two because uh, Part 1, it was very talky. A lot of dialogue, dialogue in that one, not a lot of action. This, though, they pulled out all the stops. Basically, Katniss is at the Capitol, and it's no holds barred. So it didn't quite have that traditional arc of the Hunger Games that we saw in the first two, but they still managed to get a couple of uh, battle sequences in there and some thrilling chases. And, you know, this was a satisfying end to a, um, a franchise that I would say had a rocky start with the first movie and then gradually improved. I would say Catching Fire was probably the best of the bunch. This is a close second. Loaded with bonus features as well. Great performances. And I like that the uh, visual effects always improve with these movies. So uh, Mockingjay Part 2 probably looks the best of them when it comes to the effects. But uh, yeah, you can relive all the drama now and check out Part 2 on Blu-ray and DVD. All right, we're talking comedy now. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler reuniting in Sisters, the story of two disconnected sisters who uh, basically are summoned to their family home to clean out their rooms before their parents sell the house. Now they're looking to recapture their glory days. So what do you do in that sense? Well, you throw one final high school style party for their classmates and that turns into a cathartic rager uh, where a bunch of uh, you know adults who are stuck in their lives get to just throw down one last time. The movie's story itself got a little off the rails, I will say, towards the end. It could have been maybe about 10, 15 minutes shorter, but the supporting roles of the people, you see Maya Rudolph there, they are just tremendous. So think of the movie as a great collection of shorts and skits, and that way it works tremendously well as a comedy. So all the bit players, including Tina Fey, John Cena, tremendous in this movie as well. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler lead the way, but they've got such an awesome cast with so many great gags uh, in the movie that you'll you'll kind of put the, um, you know, the um, borderline mediocre story aside. The bonus features are great too. you got hilarious deleted scenes, a gag reel, and much, much more. <laughs> that is one memorable scene as well. All right, guys, we're talking TV for the last one, and HBO bringing you Game of Thrones, the complete fifth season. Now, uh, the sixth season is right around the corner, mid-April, but you can get season five right now. Catch up, get it on Blu-ray. It looks absolutely stunning. This season was filmed in five countries, 151 different sets, shot over 240 days, over 160 cast members, a thousand crew, 5,000 extras, just incredible. Nothing on this kind of scale is being produced in television these days. And the bonus features, I mean, you've got the gripping drama, the intrigue, the action, all that aside in the actual um, episodes. You've got four deleted scenes, added commentary on all 10 episodes, loads of featurettes about the Game of Thrones history lore, including a very cool look at the Dance of Dragons, which details the history of uh, the House Targaryen Civil War. And an incredible behind the scenes look at the filming of episode 10 
Mother's Mercy, which was uh, one of the most memorable episodes in the series to date. Man, alive, the last two episodes in this season are just incredible, engrossing, gripping. So much drama, so many twists and turns. And if you haven't had it spoiled yet, you're lucky. Try to go in uh, fresh and uh, and uh, and check these out for the first time. And if not, watch them again. I'm actually in the process of watching season five again, and it's just as riveting. In fact, I recommend it because you miss so much the first time around. You need to go back and revisit it. That's why they're so good on Blu-ray. The uh, packaging is uh, beautiful as well. Make great collector's editions for fans of Game of Thrones. And as I say, season six right around the corner in April. That's it, folks. For this week on Blu-ray and DVD, we we're playing a little bit of catch-up this week. Don't forget, you can catch me on Twitter, at Thor Diecow. Let me know what you thought of these titles, if you have any recommendations. And we'll see you next week on btvancouver.ca.